Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use OmniSend for email marketing. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be looking for a tool that you could use for email marketing. So email marketing is a great way for you to promote your business or your campaign or your purpose. Now in this case, what we need to do first is we need to access OmniSend here. In this case, that's going to be OmniSend.com. Now from here, you might be wondering, can you use OmniSend for free? Well, in this case, you could use OmniSend here and start it for free. But there are going to be some pricing tiers they need to consider first. Now on their official website, go ahead and click on the pricing at the top section of your screen. And from here, you should be able to see the available pricing that they have right now. Now currently, they have the pro version here which is around $59 a month, standard is going to be $16 a month, and the free version here which is the best for starting businesses and exploring OmniSend which in this case is going to be free or $0 for a month. Now there are going to be some limitations on this one like for example, you are limited to 250 contacts, 500 emails a month, 500 web pushes notifications a month. But if you get one of their premium or their upgraded or their pro version here, you'll be able to access one of the following or the following uh, standard or the following features here. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on the start free option here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to sign up in whatever way that you want. Now, if you want to sign up via your email only, you could go ahead and click on sign up with email. Or if you want to connect your Shopify store, you could go ahead and click on sign up with Shopify. Or if you want to use your Google account, you could go ahead and use that. But for now, I'm going to use my Google account. So let's go ahead and choose this one. Choose our email here. And from here, we just need to provide all the details. So for example, we need to provide our password. And it's going to ask you, do you have an e-commerce business? Now, you also need to agree to the terms of use and anti-spam policy here and from here just click on sign up once the details are filled up now on the next page you need to provide the following information like the name of your business your website and the which email or marketing automation software are you currently using and which platform are you using for your online store in this case let's go and fill out those details and click on continue now from here fill out the following details so that includes the country cd address a zip code or postal code and the time zone for your business or your uh, information let's so go ahead and fill out these uh, details here now once you fill out all the necessary details you should now be able to see your dashboard here now on your dashboard you should be able to see the general information as well as the onboarding steps in here in this case the first thing you see here is connect to Shopify for complete marketing toolbox so in this case you can go and click on connect to Shopify here and just follow the steps for you to connect your account so you need to install the OmniSend email marketing and SMS application on your Shopify store if you have a Shopify store now in this case what are the other things that you'll be you'll be able to see in the dashboard so you'll be able to see your convert visitors into subscribers the drive sales while you sleep and track your performance section here in this case, there are going to be some overview details they give you, like for example, the revenue from OmniSend, from campaigns, from automations, and a lot more. So basically, your dashboard here is going to be your best friend when it's uh, about uh, details or your performance with, the, uh, with using the application itself. They also have the live view here, which gives you details about the uh, contactivity as it happens. So live view of your uh, contactivity. Now, if you want to view the other tabs here, we also have reports, which from the name itself, you should be able to see your, the reports from your campaigns. So audiences is your contacts. So for example, the email subscribers, SMS subscribers, or push notification subscribers. Now there's going to be a lot here like segments, customer breakdown, import so if you want to import some contacts export if you want to export contacts and we also have tags in here now in this case we also have forms here which enables you to connect or basically create your own forms to basically capture emails for your email marketing now if you want to start using you could go and click on preview and launch form here now we also have the automation here which from the name itself helps you create automations for your email marketing. But in this case, the most important thing that we need to view here is going to be campaigns since we want to create our own campaign. 
So in this case, let's go and click on create email campaign button here. And from here, we need to provide the following details. So in this case, we need to provide our email information. So for example, the subject line of our email campaign. So if you want to generate your own, just click on generate subject line here. It's going to give you uh, the capabilities on uh, using uh, this AI here. So for example, I want to say a uh, hurry, limited time test email. Let's go ahead and apply this one. And we want to indicate the sender's name here. So for example, I want to say the uh, uh, sender's name is going to be RND, uh, the following uh, options, or NZ shop. You could enter whatever name that you want to use here. So in this case, you also have the sender's email address. So in this case, we want to use our email address here. So in this case, let's go ahead and use the shared Omnisend email here. And from here, we want to, or if you want to use the user apply to email address, if you want to, and we also have the pre-header here. So this is a short text that follows the subject line of your email. Now if you want to add that, you could go ahead and do that. We also have the campaign name here. So for example, I just want to say this is going to be a test campaign, but you could basically name this to anything that you want. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the choose email template at the bottom right of your screen. Now, by the way, the inbox preview here, it's go what's going to look like when it's actually sent. But for now, let's go ahead and choose an email template. Now, in this case, we need to choose the appropriate email template here. So maybe I want to use one of the simplest one here. So for example, maybe I want to use uh, this one. So let's go ahead and click on use template. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to start editing our template. So in this case, what you need to do is you first have to determine what are the colors, what are the uh, text that you need to include here. Now, if you want to retain most of the details or the design that you have here, you could basically uh, keep this as is, except for the text section here. I would suggest you to change this one. Now, if you want to change the text itself, just double click on the section here, highlight everything that you see and just start typing. So for example, this is uh, I just want to say this is a sample text please do not um, bo bother changing it so for example once you've done that we could go ahead and just highlight everything here and if you want to change the uh, color for it what you need to do is you need to go to the right section here go to text color and make it white and once you've done that, it should change the color on it. Now, by the way, the we have three most important sections that we need here. So first is the, going to be our canvas, which is the editing or the, what we are currently editing right now. Our right, the right side here contains the properties. So if you want to change the line height, font size, text style here, and a lot more, even the alignment, if you want to change that, you could basically change it in here. Now, if you want to add other elements like buttons, text, you should be able to view it via the library section here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and do whatever here. Like for example, depending on what you click here, like for example, I just click my button here, you'll be able to see the following properties. So you could change the link to, if you want to redirect another user, whenever they actually click on this button here, you can just add a link here in the link to section. Now you also have the option to uh, change the button alignment here. So yeah, so in this case, uh, Changing the UI here is pretty simple as you can see right now. I'm able to basically just move them around as you can see right now. So if you want to add, like for example, I want to add a quick uh, go to quick add section here. So maybe I want to add a, a section here, like for some discount. So let's go ahead and drag it in here and just, just go ahead and just change whatever here. So for example, I'm just going to add one, two, three, four here as an example. And once we've done that, we could go ahead and just um, complete our changes now in this case uh make sure to update it accordingly but once you've done that you could just start uh, sending test emails for your uh campaign here so the top right go ahead and click on send test email here so in this case you need to choose what email that you want to use for sending camp uh, this test email you can go and click on send and from here you could go ahead and just go and visit your email and see if it if it actually looks good now in this case, I want to make sure I'm accessing the correct account here, but yeah. Now also, by the way, if you want to do more here, you can go and click on the drop down up button here and you have the preview option. If you want to save this as a template for future use, or if you want to change this template or save and close it for a bit, basically for later use. In this case, if you click on the preview option here, you should be able to see the preview of your email in here. 
But in this case, let's go ahead and click on the X at the top right to change that. And from here, we could go ahead and just click on save and choose your recipients. Now, in this section, we need to choose our recipient. So you could either choose all subscribers here or let me choose segments. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and choose a segment here if you want to. So, yeah, if you don't have segments here, you could go ahead and click on create segments here or add them manually if you want to. Now, in this case, uh, what you need to do is you first have to add your audiences. So for now, let's go ahead and click on save and close here. And from here, you could just go ahead and go to audiences. And from here, you could go ahead and click, go to your contact list here. Click on add contacts. And from here, you could go ahead and other choose add a single contact, import contacts from file, face contact details, or import contacts from MailChimp or from Clavio. If you want to add a single contact here, you just need to provide all the necessary details here like email addresses, phone number, and tags you want to use. Now, if you want to add more fields, you click on the more fields here and you'll be able to add their first name, last name, address, country, and a lot more. Now, once you've added that, you can go ahead and just proceed with sending your email marketing and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.